Dr. Shannon Clark. I am a double board certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist. And for those of you guys who know me on social media, you know that MTHFR gene variants plus or minus folic acid, that's my jam. I have tons of information on it. In fact, I have a whole entire playlist slash highlight here on this app dedicated solely to that topic. But I want to just add a little bit of information about M the role of MTHFR genetic variant testing and miscarriage or recurrent pe pregnancy loss. This is from uh, the site OBG project, and this is a great summary about MTHFR polymorphism genotyping or testing. And they say that it should not be ordered as part of a clinical evaluation for thrombophilia or blood clotting disorder, recurrent pregnancy loss, or for at-risk family members. So just to sum it up, there is no role for testing for MTHFR gene variations in someone who's had a miscarriage or recurrent pregnancy loss. ACOG says testing for MTHFR uh, gene variants is not recommended for recurrent pregnancy loss as only antiphospholipid syndrome has shown consistent associations. Pause to read the rest. ASRM, American Society for Reproductive Medicine, and NSGC, the National Society for Genetic Counselors, says testing for MTHFR gene variants for recurrent pregnancy loss is not recommended. The American College of Medical Genetics, MTHFR polymorphism genotyping should not be ordered as part of the clinical evaluation for thrombophilia or recurrent pregnancy loss or for any at-risk family members. So all the major medical organizations that have anything to do with uh, pregnancy, pregnancy care, high-risk pregnancy, all say to not order MTHFR gene variant testing for miscarriage or recurrent pregnancy loss. That has not been done and or recommended for decades. And if anyone does that, they could be missing a potential real cause, real cause for pregnancy loss, recurrent pregnancy loss, because 50 to 60% of the population has one or two variations in the, in the MTHFR gene, which means a lot of people are going to test positive. MTHFR gene variations are like having different color hair, different color eyes. It did not, does not increase your risk of having a blood clot or pregnancy loss. And finally, y'all know what I'm going to say next, having an MTHFR gene variant does not mean you cannot take folic acid. Folic acid is the only form of folate found in prenatal vitamins and supplements that has been shown to help prevent neural tube defects in the fetus like anencephaly, which is lethal, and other forms of neural tube defects. Anyone recommending another form of folate in a prenatal vitamin or supplement, because there are many, like methylfolate, for example, anyone who recommends that is giving you bad advice and a bad recommendation. Again, go to my playlist and you'll probably get just about every question you might have answered.